Hey everybody, welcome back for another part of our Pokemon Violet playthrough. So, we're gonna see what's what what this little gaming ghoul dude, what he's all about. Cause it's been a while since I've fought one. Uh, I think we're just gonna thundershock him. Um, I'm gonna definitely try to catch it. That's the goal anyway. And then we'll progress on to the next area of the game, hopefully. I've been trying to record as many videos in one sitting as I possibly can, because uh, that's, for me, that's the hardest part, finding time to record them. I can edit them at any time, but try, you know, trying to find time to record them when it's nice and quiet and all of that is where the, where the problem in lies. But, I'm just gonna Thundershock Doodle one last time. Yeah, gaming ghouls kind of a grind. I remember I had to go out of my way to get all of the little things for gaming ghoul to evolve into gold, goldango. Um, and yep, it's that easy. So um, I don't know how good of a Pokemon goldango is. I've never used mine for anything, but I hear it's pretty good in raids. You're gonna get sent to the PC box, my friend, sadly. Drinking some water again. Just gotta stay hydrated. All right, and we're just gonna put you in the box with all of these other Pokemon. Um, and currently my team and I have a project going on where we're going to be getting some shiny Pokemon to give away on stream. Um, right now we're working on getting all of those together, some starters, some legendaries, old events, and that, that kind of thing. So when that goes live, I'll probably make some kind of trailer or some kind of video about it. That way you guys know when that's going to go live, if you want to be a part of that. And get your hands on some of those, um, uh, shiny legendaries, shiny starters, um, and all of, all of that. And I want you guys to, you know, be able to, to partake in that as well. And that will probably be more than likely on my Twitch, which I will have linked in the description below on every video, as I always do. Anyways, we are back again at this game. There's little Nimble. Such a cute little guy. He's gonna run from me, and that's okay. So I think we're making progress. Again, I always get lost in the beginning part of this game because I never really spend much time in this part of the game after I leave Paldea. I, I've been in the terrarium on my Violet, mostly doing raids and shiny hunting for Blitzel that I just can't seem to shut, you know, I just can't seem to get to shine. That's, that's how, how it goes, unfortunately. But anyway, we will continue onward. Oh, there's a big guy over there. That will be, that, that looks like fun. Uh, yeah. Big dude over there. So, let's go see what this big guy's all about. It's big cloth just chilling on the side of the uh, mountain here. What's up with him? What are you, what are you up to, guy? Oops. Where'd he go? Just disappeared on me. Well, I was gonna see what dude was up to. Maybe we have to go up here. See, it's been a, it's just been a minute since I've done all of these, honestly. Well, there's a TM. Snarl. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, there you are, you big crab. I don't know what level this thing is. I love his little ping pong ball eyes. There's like no thoughts going on inside that giant head of his. Oh boy. Um, ouch. Okay, well Thundershock's doing decent damn. Actually, you know what I could have used? I could have used Dig, and I think I'm, I think I'm going to, because it's super effective. And honestly, I forgot that Cheeto had that move, if I'm being honest. Let's get some volume here. Ooh, that was big damage. 
I think the responsible thing to do is heal up Cheeto. Because uh, it looks like Jig's going to be our best move against this thing. Uh, granted, I think Wooper would probably be a good option as well. Um, but, yeah, I, I can't predict what the AI is going to do. Because if it's it got anything to do with RNG, RNG hates me. Um, and everything I try to do. So, hopefully... If we have to lose Cheeto, we can at least get uh, Wooper out here. That's big damage, okay. Uh oh. It's for sure probably gonna KO next turn, which is unfortunate. Unless it uses a move that, uh, like, block or something that doesn't do any damage, but I doubt that. Ouch! Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Uh, thankfully, Wooper will resist that attack. Oh boy, you're not very happy, are you, big guy? That doesn't do as much as I'd like for it to, but it's enough for it to scurry away. Where did you go? Well, I wasn't finished yet. Cloth's like, but I was, but I'm finished with you. Oh, I gotta go in here, huh? There's a, a normal size cloth behind it. Oh boy. Dawn, you found it. And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan? No cloth have been, has any business being that big. It's going to be even stronger now after eating those herbs. Probably. Let's watch ourselves, Dawn. Yeah, dude's probably going to be massive. Oh, boy. And he's not, he's not pleased. Uh, well, um... Fight may be our best option here, because Crocs has nothing super effective. This is looking a little rough. Shelter lets her up a helping of defeat on the half shell. Ouch. Thankfully, I don't think that does much. That did a decent... That was a crit, though. Okay. Okay. Probably going to switch to Wooper, simply because I could use the double super effective with my moves and his. Yeah, I do. I take a lot of screenshots for possible thumbnail ideas, which I use an app on my phone called Thumbnail Maker that makes all of those, so... I'll probably use the same thumbnail for every video except for gym leaders and like team star fights and like that sort of thing. That way it kind of, you know, if there's one specific video you're looking for, at least you, you know, you'll know by the thumbnail if that's the right one or even the video title. Okay, well we're doing decent damage to this thing. Mud shot. Gosh, that still hits hard for that being resisted. Like, that still hits like a truck. Right. L look at little Wooper. He's so happy. I'm also going to get screenshots of all the major events, too, and possibly do, like, an outtakes reel. So I'm going to try to keep all this footage. That way I've got it. All right, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are yeesh. I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. Me either. Well, let's see what's going on here. I bet somewhere in there is more of that Urban Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. Wow. 
Watch your step. It's pretty dark. Uh, he looks so confused. No way! This is one of the Herba Mystica. It's exactly how it looked in the book. Okay, so these Herba Mystica are tied to the Titans. Okay. Yes, we actually found one, and it's all thanks to you, Dawn. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says here that the sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health, and it helps aid digestion. It's great for stomach aches, too, or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. Now if I can just get him to eat some. Whew. All right, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Okay. So, the Herba Mystica is tied to something much larger, I'm assuming. Here you go. An Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs. I guess we'll find out as we go. I'll even give you a badge, you know, as thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. Made it myself using a replica of the gym badges. See? What's up with that thing? It just comes out of its ball on its own whenever it wants. Yeah, he kind he kind of does that. Uh, hey, now, no, that's not for you. He said, excuse me. Do you want to give your sandwich to Maridon? Here you go. I'll, I'll, I'll give him some. Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you and you just give it away? I hope you realize that's all there was, so now there's none left for you. That's okay. Aw, oh, come on. You're making me feel like I'm the selfish jerk here. Here, you can have half of mine, but you better savor every last bite. Huh? You, ate, you already ate the whole thing? Miradon will be able to dash now. Huh? Wait, hey, is it me or is that thing sort of powered up somehow? So the herbs are linked to his power. Okay. If they had that big of an effect on your Pokemon, then I bet. I bet it'll come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Well, you both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. Oh, don't worry about helping. After battling the Titan, I think you've earned a break. Just leave all this to me, though I'd be much obliged if you'd get a start on searching out the remaining four Urban Mystica for us. I can do that. I really owe you. Okay. Coast is clear. What is he up to? You can come out now. Is my dude up to something sus? Not gonna lie, I kinda like breezed through this game and I really didn't stop to like pay attention to any of the story when I first played it. So this, I'm kind of experiencing this again for the first time myself. Hello, Don, this is Turo. Well, hello, sir. I detect that Miradon has regained some of its original power. It seems it will not be able to dash at high speeds when you're riding upon it. But hope you'll continue to explore Pal Day with Miradon as you've done here. Your route is not fixed but open for you. Seek out your own path using your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever your curiosity peaked, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. 
Go forth on your journey and take good care of Miraidon uh, for me. I guess pronounced Miraidon, but I could be saying that wrong, honestly. All right, so we did the first Titan in this episode. So when we come back next time, we will be heading toward Artisan City. And we will see what awaits us there. So thank you guys for watching. And I will leave all of my Twitch information, information for the Discord, and all of that in the next video. You guys take it easy, and I will catch you all then.